This video contains strong language and may not be suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. My 11th grade English teacher used to always say, Say what you mean and mean what you say. Cleveland Cavaliers coach John Berlin has just came out of the closet the racist closet. He called his players a bunch of thugs. You know, we're just not going to have that this year. A bunch of thugs. Those weren't his exact words, but that's what he meant. And after he was confronted about those words, he tries to say, Oh, I meant slugs. I, I didn't mean thugs. I meant slugs. Since Donald Trump has been the president, and when he had this incident with these NFL players, it seems as if Donald Trump has given, given all the races, the races, sports team owners and coaches, the green light to get those niggers in place. Now, somebody could take my statement and say, what'd you say, what'd you say, nigga? Oh, oh, no, I meant trigger. No, I meant, I said just what I said. Just like John Berlin said what he said. And I just, hey, man, I don't understand why black players continue to be a part of their game. I know you're trying to get paid and you're trying to get your money, but what you're doing with your money? And it's like this. When a person has toys, it's no fun unless you have friends or someone to play with you with these toys. And the same thing goes with this NFL, the NBA, Major League Baseball, soccer, whatever it is. Let them have their toys and see how fun it is without us. I see that he was born in 53. And a person white person, over 53, he was there during that civil rights struggles. He was there when cops were beating people upside the head. He knows the pain that black people went through. And he knows the pain that certain words bring. The Cleveland Cavaliers, the, whoever owns this team, they should fire him. They're losing anyway, so why would you want to hold on to him? It's going to be a long time before Cleveland wins any type of championship anyway with that damn team you got. No more LeBron James or superstars. So it'll be quite some time before you win another game. But why would you want to have an empty stadium because of this idiot, John Berlin? No one is going to support your team. The man is bringing a black eye to your team. Now you are the main focus of the NBA. And why do people like him, these stupid racists, keep using these words like thugs or whatever that's going to get your dumb cracker butt in trouble later on? And when this guy made an apology, who did he make the apology to? Because I'm quite sure the people who he directed that statement at, did he give them an apology? Did they accept the apology? From the black community, your apology is denied. It is not accepted. I've often heard people say that these coaches are nothing more than slave overseers. And I am starting to believe that. Because every week, month, couple of months, some idiot like this fool here comes out and make a racist statement and then tries to make a fool out of the public by saying it was only a slip of the tongue. TH does not have the same sound as SL. Th sl That's totally different. Slug. Thug. You know exactly what you were saying. You meant to say what you said. And I'm hoping that the Cleveland Cavaliers will show you the door. And I know that you have 
hey, you just lost the respect of your players. So you might as well go on and just resign. Save yourself some faith, sir, and go on and resign. See, one thing about having Donald Trump as a president, an open racist, it makes the other races come out in the open. The one who has been fronting 30, 40, 50 years. Oh, I got black friends. Now, all of a sudden, those thugs, white people, can't you see that you are on your, on your way out? You know, it will make good sense. It will be a wise decision for you to treat people a little better. For you to have kind of words that come out of your mouth. I mean, hey, you are losing your power. And the next people that come up in line for power, don't you think they are going to remember the things that you and your people have done? If you want to try to have some type of way to make it, you want someone to have some type of sympathy on you, where well, it will be in your best interest to mind your tongue. With all of these black athletes over the past 20 years, they should have by now put their money together and started their own sports organization. Whereas they will be able to take the handcuffs off of these black athletes. We black people have a certain way to do the things we do. The guys that played basketball, their style, when they get into the white schools and these white organizations, they make them tone their game down to be acceptable for them so that they can keep up. Hey, man, start your own sports organization. Well, you have to keep taking this type of trash off of trash like this guy right here. It doesn't make any sense for us to be 2020 and black people are still taking this shit. You say something disrespectful to some white person, whatever, here comes all kind of help to check you about what you said. But when dis people disrespect for us, here come the excuses. And in the end, not a damn thing gets done. But hey, that's okay. You white people, keep following Donald Trump down this dead-end street. But you should remember this one thing. You are not Donald Trump. He is going to be protected. But when you make these idiotic statements, who's going to protect you?